the five years that you were members there ever preached through an entire chapter or a book of the Bible? No, not once. Not one time. Not one time? No, not one time. Never went verse by verse, line upon line, precept upon precept. He's never taught you guys the Word of God rightly interpreted. No, never. I remember when I first... The very first heroes meeting I went to, I thought that's what it was gonna be. So he never, so he never preached. He never, he never taught exegetically, no, verse no, by verse teaching, right? I wasn't thinking that's what it was gonna be. I was like, so we're gonna get, you know, his little message, and we're gonna get his message on Sunday. And then I figured, okay, the heroes meeting is maybe this is probably gonna be like Bible study. And I went literally thinking that, and I learned very quickly that's not what it is at all, at all, never has been. So, so how how do you learn? How do you know the Word of God if you're not being taught the Word of God? He told us that it's our job, that we should be reading our Bibles at home. That he, also, he also tells us that if he finds out that we have groups meeting separately, he's like, if I find out y'all got little groups meeting up, having your own little private sessions, I'm kicking you out. It's like, he's like, I'm supposed to be the head of the church. So if you're out having your own, your own studies, what does that say? That you're not getting the Word here? Uh, and Yeah. He said that, like, a million times. So he told us, he would tell us that it's our job to go read the Bible on our own. But told us if we had groups, and if he found out that we had groups meeting together, trying to have, like, a Bible study or something, hey, that we'd be booted out. So this guy is so throwed off, so, so narcissistic, and so manipulative, that people don't even realize that they're being deceived. That's the sad thing about it. That That's that's the sad thing about it. There's a lot of good people in that church. Right. A lot of good families. That right. Feel for them. right. I need them to come out and it's, and it's, it's hard. But see, but, but, but here's the blessing. Here's the blessing, though, dude. Here's the blessing. Look at what God is doing with you right now. I know. Look, look at what God has done with Larnell. Look at there, there's, there, Listen, the exodus may not come as swiftly as we want it to. But God is going to bring people out of wherever they're being bound in, in due yeah. time. And we have to trust and believe that. But notice how he does it. He does it through means. He does it through people. He does it through social media, YouTube, conversations, like, like what you're doing with your friend, right? So, so once you're free, you can help other people get free. There's, there's the part that it really breaks my heart, too, uh, with my friend. So I, I, I tell him all the stuff that, you know, that started going on with me and Jay Brian, and I didn't even get into a lot of the other issues I've been holding on to for a long time, because I know he would instantly just right. turn me off. Right. Uh, just, you know, because he's been, you know, he's been manipulated like we all were. Right. So uh, I hit him up, and I was like, um, I was like, hey, what are you doing later? I wanted to talk about some stuff, but it would be too much to type through text. I hate typing all Right. Uh, that's exactly that's what I do all day at work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get on type all day. But I'm like, and he's like, okay, I'm free uh, this time. I was like, okay, I'll hit you up. So then I, put, I gave him the screenshot of the post that, that Bryce put up with with Jay Brian liking it. You can see Jay Brian's like. Mm -hmm. You can see the comment. Uh, and I'll send you that screenshot if you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I want you to send it. Yep, yep, yep. But the word did say, go to your brother in private. He doesn't listen, which he clearly's not. It says get get another brother to go with you. So I'm trying to follow the word, so I reach out to my to my friend. Uh, so I'm like, all right, let me reach out to him, so maybe he can go with me and talk to him the way the Bible says to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, but now I'm learning, you know, even more now I'm learning that the Bible's talking about a real church, which right. is clearly isn't. So right. not all of these things may apply in this right. right, right, which I'm starting to understand now. Right. Um, through the grace of God. Thank Amen. You. Amen. Um, and so um, I reach out to my friend. I, I give him the screenshot of Kaepernick's post. And I go, all right, what's going on here? Sitting here with my son, uh, told him the whole story again. And I was like, not only did you work out with him, da 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 same thing I already read you. Um, but I was like, well, what really bothers me is, but then what is really has me scratching my head is Jay Bryan and Landon like the post. I'm trying to figure out how to explain this to my son. Honestly, at a loss for words. What is going on? And that's what I told him. Question mark. And um, Matt re replied to me. It makes me, and he, he took a while to reply, which made me feel like he reached. He went straight to Jay Brian before he even replied back to me. Mm -hmm. um, and his reply. And this is, you know, my one friend. I feel like I really close friend. 
Yeah. yeah that's all about. He knows. He knows who Matt is. Uh, okay. Too. Yeah. That's a good guy. He's a, he really is. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. Off right now and being manipulated, but right. he's, a, he's a good guy. He wants, right. He's trying to do what's best. Yeah. Well, I feel like he went straight to Jay Brian because that's what he's been very to do. Yeah. Um. So he replied back after a while, and he goes. He was one of the wide receivers the NFL used for the for Khan's workout. All right, that's not true. The, it, the NFL tried to, to put together a workout, remember? And Colin Kaepernick canceled that workout. Right, at the last minute. Yeah, at the last minute. Yep. And then he went and Colin Kaepernick handpicked his own receivers. Yep. So this wasn't the NFL putting it together. Colin Kaepernick personally reached out to Bryce, and Bryce agreed to do it. Okay, so he's wrong on that already. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he goes, I saw the video on Facebook earlier, which is weird because I thought y'all were on a fast, whatever. Um, <laughs> and then he goes, I saw it as Bryce putting his resume out there trying to get a job. IG, or er, IG, Cowboys or Patriots. I don't think he's down with Colin like that. And then he tries to just change the subject. How's it going? And so I just reply back, it's hard to explain to my kid how we don't compromise our faith for fame or money when I see him online working out with someone who pastor has openly rebuked time and time again for being anti-Christian. And not only did he work out with them, he's been tagging Kaepernick and per personally on all the posts. And then our youth director is liking the post for everyone to see. Mm. It's a bad look and, and it introduces a lot of confusion to a message that up to now we all thought was so strong. And so then I, I gave another screenshot where he's, he's saying, where he's thanking him for his platform, and I put on there where you could see all the people who liked it. And I go, uh, then I reply back, because he's still not responding to me at this point. So I'm like, so, I put, he's thanking Cat for sharing his platform? Come on, man. And then some time went by, I could tell he went and talked to Jay. And he goes, uh, best thing I would suggest to do is contact Bro J. Brian. In the, in the world of sports and show business, when you're a free agent and stuff, I can't relate. Mm -hmm. I recommend you talking to Jay about your concern. Imagine Jerry Jones or Robert Kraft being your employer. Now that's a hard one. So this is what I reply back. I get it, bro, but who says you have to play in the NFL? Right. There, there are many other career choices out there. So using the devil's platform for fame in music and TV is wrong. But for football, it's okay. These are the questions that my kids ask when they see this stuff. Sorry, bro, but when it's out there for my kids to see, it introduces confusion and I get upset. Right. And then I told them, I did miss this thing, by the way. I'm waiting on those plots because of this one we have to see so I'm to that. I go, I would never try to start anything, and you know I'm not that dude. Uh, but when they put stuff out on a public platform that introduces confusion, I feel I have to say something. It just stinks because I hate doing it, but I have to look after my kids. And then he just goes, he puts, I understand, bro, and he changes the subject. How's the family doing? Wow. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, and then time goes by, he never says anything. And so then on uh, Thursday, Thursday night, I, I text him again. And I go, hey, bro, just FYI, J. Brian and Bryce Butler both responded to me. And this is about the situation I told you about. Just know I'm just heartbroken seeing their response to, to all this. And honestly can't understand how the youth pastor at our church can defend Bryce not only using Cat's platform, but openly thanking him for it. This is just unbelievable to me. But I know that I do not and will, or just know that I'm not trying to start anything online or in the public about the situation. But if you, my church brother, would like to hear more, uh, more about what happened, please give me a call. I could really use some advice from a like-minded believer on what to do now. I have a lot to share. It would probably be better just to call. And then I posted the Matthew 18 scripture showing them what I'm trying to do. And then I go, uh, I just want to handle this biblically, not with, not with drama. And he didn't respond at all. Like, no response. And then finally, I post another screenshot. Um, I didn't even get into this. Of this other one that Bryce posted. Where Bryce uh, put, wow, yeah, this was, um, if you look at Bryce's Instagram, it's like one of his third or fourth posts. Okay. He's, at some event. He's at an event, which uh, Pastor Arcel, one of the things he has said in the past that I do agree with, uh, but yeah, it's not him. It's, you know, not everything he says he owns, uh, but he's always said, like, don't let what you do become who you are. 
Mm -hmm. because, because the second it's taken away from you, you lose your identity. Right. And so, <laughs> tell me why Bryce is at this event called, literally, the name of the event is called, and a big red sign behind him, and apparently there's a whole book behind it and everything. I don't know who these dudes are. But he's at the event, and the, the, and the event's called, What You Do Is Who You Are. <laughs> Uh, 
Word more. Hey man, that's what's up. That's 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 what happens when you dig, bro. That's what happens you get in the word, bro. That's what happens. So, I give uh, I give a screenshot of this scripture, First Corinthians one, uh, chapter ten. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, mm. and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and the same judgment. Come on, man. That's it. That's, That's it. The Bible. That's it. Then, I'll keep going because he's still not responding to me. And so I don't know. Maybe the Spirit's working on him. I don't know. But I'm just going to keep going because I care about this dude, like I said. Um, so then I post another screenshot I found where Bryce Butler, apparently every year he flies out to Paris for Fashion Week. And if you know Pastor, you know how. Pride of life. Pride of life. Yeah. And not to mention, you know how, how Pastor feels about homosexuality. I mean, which is, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. The way he, he hates him. him. He hates him. He hates him. He, he doesn't try to lead them to Christ. Right. He, he hates, he hates him. him. Yep. So I go look on Bryce's post, and he's out there in Fashion Week, and Brody's just seen this picture. I mean, he looks about as flamboyant as you can look with him. Is he worse than? Does he look worse than a uh, a boy from the uh uh uh? You, you know, Cam Newton. Does he look worse than that? Here, here, here. Okay. I'll, I'll send it to you. Um, <laughs> you gotta believe, you gotta believe it, bro. Uh, hold on. This is just all blowing my mind. And, and bro, all this was right after Bryce was front row and center at part 10. This all happened after that. Ah. Maybe one of multiple services, and all this is going on during that time. Ah. And he openly himself told me he talks to Pastor every day. So I'm like, and he told me, Pastor ain't saying nothing you're saying. I'm about to share this joint. I'm about to share this joint. Yes, sir. Yep. I 
where the spirit spoke to me. Yeah. And if, if you keep watching that, it's, it's wild, bro. It's wild. It's wild. It, it almost seems like that's what what G has modeled his yeah. own. Yeah. Like yeah. I feel like what the message he gives to everyone else. I think he has what I what I'm calling now after watching that documentary. I think Pastor has what a uh, King David complex. Mm. I, that he, if you watch the documentary uh, and you keep watching. Like, you can't agree with everything in it, of course. Right, right, know, right. They're trying to, you know, it's the world, so they're trying to make Christianity look bad. Right, um, right. But if you look at what they're talking about, like how, how this cult was operating, because that's what it was, it was a Christian cult. Yeah. Um, it's a Christian cult in in Washington. Yeah. They're very powerful people. But they're using the word to manipulate people, just like we're seeing going on here. Right. And if you look at how they operate, the way they do it is they get you in, they indoctrinate you, um, but then they have their select few that they pull out, and they have these dudes living together in a house, this and that, and they're, you know, living together, they're serving, they're doing all this stuff for congressmen. Well, eventually, the higher-ups, they come to them. Uh, there's, the guy who's doing this documentary, he's out of it, he's he's telling it all now. And uh, he said, they come to you, and they tell you, uh, one of the things he says, he's like, who are some of the heroes of the of the Old Testament? And you know, I started answering them, uh, Moses, uh, Daniel, uh, da da da. And then somebody said, King David. And he goes, Ah, David. Yeah, that's an interesting character. He's like, Uh, he's like, Why, why, why would you consider yep. him? Yeah, you know, I saw that. Yeah. 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 That's what I feel like is happening. I feel like pastors preaching this message to the congregation and to the world. But then I feel like his select few that are in the inner circle, he's telling them, Look. When you're, when you're chosen by God, this is like how, what they tell them in the documentary. When you're chosen by God, as I feel like he's chosen you, there's a, there's different, there's different, there's things he allows for us. Um, just like he allowed for David. Like, that's how they use it in the documentary. I feel mm-hmm. like that's what's going on. Mm-hmm. I really do. I feel like he has like a King David complex where he feels like he's above everything and God gives him a pass. And right. it's a lot to preach a different gospel to a select few and a, and a whole completely different gospel to the congregation. Right. And, it's, and these contradictions, I'm finding left and right, just with Bryce. Yep. It's yep. crazy, bro. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, Man. it is. No, it is. And all you gotta do, and all you gotta do is just let the, let the receipt speak for itself. Oh, and I can, uh, here's some more for you, too. So, <laughs> so then, uh, I, I'm, I'm, Still, I'm um, texting my, my, my brother and telling him all this stuff. Uh, uh, and he told me to put some prayer on it. Talk to me, da, 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 and I keep posting more and more. So then I hit him up last night. I, I flash back. And I remember, um, you remember a couple of years ago, Amazon on Amazon, uh, Prime Video. Yes. The Dallas Cowboys documentary that came out a couple of years ago, all, all or Nothing. I, I didn't watch it, though. I, I, didn't, I didn't watch that. Okay. Well... Save yourself the times. You know, you don't need to do it all, but okay. um, episode three. If you go go to it, episode three, uh, you can um, you can skip ahead. Episode th- or no, I'm sorry. It's all or no, all or no, Dallas Cowboys, all or nothing. Episode two, and if you skip ahead to to about thirty four minutes in, I, and I took a video of it on my phone and sent it to to this guy. Uh, you see Bryce Butler. Do they remember, keep on, this is after part 10. You know that? Front row center at part 10. Been to countless services. This is when he's coming to services every, every, you know, when he can, when he's not playing. Mm-hmm. Watch the pastor every day. He's on video on, on this documentary. He's at practice, right? He walks up to Des Bryant. And he's like, bro, I'm so tired. And like, what you studying? And he's like, he's like, bro, I went to the Nas concert last night. <laughs> And Des goes, oh, yeah? And he's like, bro, Nas and Lauren Hill. It was dope. Wow. And he, and he was like, and, and, and Des says something, and one of the coaches is like, he's like, and he's like, man, I asked one of the young chats, and I told him to Nas, he's like, who that? And he's like, he dropped his tell he's like, and uh, the coach, the year one coach, he's like, yeah, that's because these young cats, they don't know hip-hop, they only know rap. And he's and he like, yep, yep. <laughs> what, what, so what, 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 is it season one? What, which one is it? Yeah. All right, so Dallas Cowboys, All or Nothing. It's episode two. And if you skip ahead to about the 34-minute mark. Episode two. 
Let me see. Because we got season one. There's only one season? No, uh, season three, episode two. Season three, episode two. I'm scrolling my throne right now. Okay, season three, episode two. All right. Let me see. And you can give it to about the 34 minute mark, I believe, is where it is. Three. Episode. Boy, see, this is what happens when you get receipts, boy. Yep. This is what happens. You can't, you can't argue with a man who got receipts. Okay, so this is the one. I must gotta put the, the the season three joint. That's what I gotta do. Okay. Maybe. <sighs> and this then will be. Um. Yeah. Okay. So season three. Okay. Uh, episode two. I got it. D is for distraction. What's that? D is for distraction. Is that the one? Yes, that's okay. it. Okay. You took about 34 minutes in. Okay. Let's see. All right. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about to play when I'm off the phone because I'm on my phone with it right now. So I'm about to play when I'm off the phone. But I, but I got it, though. But I got it, though. I got it. Yeah. Uh, so remember, that's after he was big in service. He's been he's been in the church here, all the same the same gospel we're all preached to. And he talks his own words, and I've heard pastors say it, they talk every day. How is this man not convicted? And how is it okay for him to go to the Nas concert and the Lauren Hill concert? But when an old girl says she wants a Beyonce concert, she's a hoe. Come on, boy. I'm about to say the same thing, boy. There it is right there. Bars. <laughs> God is not the author of confusion. I keep coming back to it, and I'm going to keep coming back to it because that's all this leads to is confusion. Confusion, bro. Confusion, bro. Wow. I'm going to watch this joint. Man, dude. It's his, own, it's his own work. Go look at his Instagram. Go look at the people liking his posts. So many of them are contradicting everything Pastor talks about. And you got Aaron, J. Brian, Landon. I'm not, I, I got to run, I got to get my day started. But let me say this to you, man. Let me, let, me say, let me say this to you, bro. You already know what you need to do. Okay? You already know what you need to do. Um, in the words of your soon-to-be former pastor that he, told, that he told Fred Price to tell me. Okay? And I quote, do it. I gotcha. Do it. And number one, number one, number one, do it because the Spirit of God through the Word of God tells you to do it. The Bible tells you to have nothing to do with the unfruitful deeds of darkness, but expose it. Ephesians 5.11, right? The Bible says, abstain from every form of evil. 1 Thessalonians 5.22. Those are not suggestions. Those are not, you know, requests. Those are commands. And... <clears throat> Right, 
five years. Right. It's been like one or two people ever. Right. And I don't want to read in too much to why. I don't know. Uh, I can't speak for him. I, all I can do is just know how it, how it affected me and right. my family. Right. We're out here, you know, trying to just get, be with like-minded believers. I don't care what, what skin color you are, what you are. I just want to know you believe what I believe. Right. And in a time where it's so hard to find, you know, he, at least has made it, we believe it's so hard to find real word being preached. I know like this is where we had to go to get it. I didn't care if we were in there. I don't care. I just want to be with people who feel like they think like I do. Right. And, but for whatever reason, it's like we get excluded. And I don't want to make it a racial thing. I don't know. I don't know why. But right. I'm just saying, it's just, it is what it is. Yeah. But. Uh, so then I try to, I try, so then I try to reach out to the only friend I have, so he can come with me about this, like the word says to do. If you want to hear me, take you one or two uh, witnesses. I try right. to do that, but the dude I'm trying to get to come with me won't come with me. Right. He's not responding to me. Right. So who says tell it to the church? Uh, what church? The real church? <laughs> the ABC building. Come on. That's what now, this is what I've been struggling with. Well, I can tell you right now, it ain't the ABC building. I can tell you right now. It well, it would be called the church as in the... As a whole. As a, and here, here, here's the reason why. Let me let me unpack Matthew 18, 15 through 20 for you. 3 to 17 for you. The word the word in, in verse 15 has to do really with personal sin against you. Right? So the, the, some manuscripts will say, if your brother sins against you. To, you know, so you go to your brother about that. But... Matthew 18, 15 through 17 is not about part of it's not about public stuff. Right. Okay. okay. So okay. so 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 and here's the reason why I know that. You cross reference Matthew 18, 15 through 17 with Philip with, with Philippians chapter uh I mean excuse me, with Galatians uh uh um, Galatians three. Okay. Okay. You cross reference that and you see what Paul did with Peter. Peter sinned publicly. Paul didn't approach him publicly about that. Paul approached him. I mean, Paul, I mean he didn't, didn't sin against uh, 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 Paul uh, uh, privately. He sinned against others publicly, and Paul didn't address him publicly. I mean, privately. Paul addressed him publicly. Right. Okay. So here's the here's the principle: public sin, public rebuke; private sin, private rebuke. Yep. Simple. Okay. So, so you don't, you don't. You, you, I heard you say it. I heard you say that how many times? Yeah. Well, that's my point. So you, you, you take his words against him and you use it on him. You see what I'm saying? So you don't, you don't walk around and say, okay. So it is. This is why. This is why when people like Jay Bryan, this was. It, that's okay. That's okay. Now you do. Now you got other brothers and sisters to help you out. You know what I'm saying? That's what the body of Christ is for. We we, we help each other. So so when you when you it wasn't Galatians three, it was Galatians two. So you read Galatians two, eleven to fourteen, and you cross reference that and compare contrast it with other scriptures like Matthew eighteen, uh, uh, fifteen through seventeen, First uh, Corinthians uh, five uh, uh, one through thirteen. You cross reference them texts and you'll see how sin is dealt with. You got private sin dealt with privately, public public sin dealt with publicly. You don't tell, you don't let somebody tell you that does something publicly. Let's have a private conversation about it. No, 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 no. Because now you're trying to hide. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So now you're trying to cover some stuff. No, you did it publicly. We're gonna address it publicly so that the rest of the Bible say will see it in fear. Because when people put stuff up on social media, why would I have a private conversation about it when you've affected? countless other people that we will never know. Now, I have the option to do that. I have that option, but I'm not obligated to come to you privately when you do something publicly that causes other people to stumble. God's word makes it clear regarding that. So, you know... What part of Galatians did you say? Galatians, Galatians 2, 11 to 14. 2, 11 14, I gotta remember that. Yeah, Galatians 2, 11 to 14. Because it's not, it's not even about, it's not even about the issue um, um, of, of you, you know, you see, your heart is, your, your heart is right. You see what I'm saying? You, you're striving to work out something that was done so yes. that the glory of God can be seen, right? So even, 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 even in the, in the minor misapplication, your heart and your intent was right. These jokers don't care, yo. 
They don't care. Truly, they don't. For them to just brazenly say I would do it a million times again, like, and and the dumb analogy that Jay Bryan tries to use by going and pumping gas, like, how is that the same thing, bro? Right. Like, God's not the author of confusion. Uh, he's not. Uh, how? Yeah, it's, you're right. You're right. Uh, this is just crazy, bro. And see, this is why, again, man, I said to you, you already know what you need to do, bro. And put it like this. The house is burning. How long are you going to sit in there? Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're done, bro. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I'm talking about the whole house. The house where they go to school at, all of it is yeah. burning. It's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so the fact that God allowed you and I to have this conversation for two hours, dog. Yeah. For two hours. Yeah, that's, that's God, that, yeah, see, that's God's grace, yo. In five years, to talk to anybody, was <laughs> This is more than I've ever had, so I really, I cannot uh, understand how much I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you, you're about, man, I don't know how many people have said it to me so far, that, and, and again, I, I, I don't take anything for this. I'm, 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 I'm glorifying God in this. I've talked to, I've talked to Larnell and Lavina. And he said the same thing you just said. The same thing that my, my wife and I was talking. We was talking with them. We was talking, you know, with them about, you know, their, about their situation and helping them because it's a, it's a painful thing, bro. It's a painful thing. People are hurting. You don't really know who to trust right now at this point from ABC. No. You don't. You don't. You don't be at a mole. You get a rat snitch. You don't know. You see what I'm saying? So, so. Really, a, a, a circle, an inner circle. Right. 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 So, so since you don't know that, it's kind of hard to navigate and say, okay, well, who, who, who legit, who this, who that, and it, it, it's more. God has, God is bringing more people, more and more people out, and God has a remnant, man, there that's coming out, and some people are in there and they're watching, they're in there and they're, they're, they're in there and they're reporting. You know what I'm saying? And and, and check this out, they're they're coming back and telling me, and I don't even know these people. Right. You see what I'm saying? So, I, you know, so when you were some of that video, like, okay, there's this dude here. I'm like, yeah, no. I'm, I'm kind of not there, but I'm there. <laughs> but I'm in Houston. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, God is, God is, God is using people to bring the truth from unlikely sources, bro. From yeah. unlikely sources. I'm to tell you what, uh, what the other dude told me when I told him. When I was first saw your video that you posted, like I said, with the all black screen, and I was new to all this and kind of nervous about it. Yeah. Even though I was already having my issues, God was already working on me. I believe that's why I got led to you, you know, when I did. But, you know, it, I'm human, so, it, uh, you know, it, it jarred me at first, you know? Right. Uh, but I reached out to, to the dude uh, and told him, I was like, hey, I just I just don't like that he posted it. So, every, like, I don't know if he's a threat or not, but I don't know who's watching this video. Da -da 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 -da. I just don't want my family to be put in danger because according to Pastor, he's always got people trying to come after him. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly where we're at. Um, and he said, uh, this is what his response was. Hello, hello, Daniel, thank you for sending, sir. Myself and our security team are fully aware of the video and others he's posted. He wasn't the one to actually record this video, but he does have plants inside of ABC that report back to him. I don't feel we're in any danger. But his goal is to discredit the ministry and try to shut ABC down by making it seem like we're a cult that's abusive and teaches false doctrine, which we know is not true. He has done this with others in the past. And no, so someone started looking at your, after he said that, and I really thought I started looking at your page, I'm like, I don't see him doing this to anyone else in the past. Thank you. Like, where, where, where? Thank you. Uh, the, he goes, his tactics are not biblical based and will not prevail as Jesus is the head of the ministry. However, he is upset that pastor won't respond to him. Uh, and then he goes, as all <laughs> the fear, da 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 da. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. And now, and now, and now, was your friend that you that did you been trying to help? No, this was one. Of, this is one of the leaders at the church. Ah, okay, okay. Now, and here's the funny thing: none of these, none of these guys want to see me and have a discussion or debate about this. Not, not, not one of them. Not one. Yeah. Not one, not one, not even Craig. Craig. Listen, Craig has even Craig has told Craig has told my my boy Fred Price Jr. By what authority do I have to to rebuke him? Yeah, and I'm like, you sound like a freaking fool. Well, that's my question too. Is House Fred still sticking with House Fred? Still allowing her to have this DVD? Well, oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. That's not happening. Okay. That's not happening. That's been shut down. 
officially? Officially. Can I probably shut it down? Yes. Praise God. So, and now, now it'll be official on Monday. Because okay. he has 24 hours to respond. It, uh, it was given him by, well, actually 48 hours from the time we and me, Fred and I talked. But Fred, Fred and I agreed, because I told him that it's, it's not fair for, for people to buy tickets or to make to hotel reservations and spend money for an event that's not going to happen. We need to let people know that yeah. this is not occurring. So he yeah, did not... Some of these people are struggling. Exactly, right? exactly. So so I told him, I, look, man, I wanted to do it. I wanted to make it public the moment I the moment I heard. But he said, man, he wanted to he wanted to give him an opportunity to, to, to tell him it's not gonna happen. He's already told Aaron Lewis about it. Who's 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 Craig's gopher, okay? Uh uh Yeah, so he's already told Aaron Lewis about it. Aaron Lewis Aaron already knows about it. Uh, uh, and I can get the prices too. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. That's why I circled it. I, I, yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Uh, so he, so Aaron knows about it. Um, but I, I, I told Fred. I said he has until he has until Sunday night, man, at midnight. He has until Sunday night by midnight. I said if he does not respond to you, which I don't think he will, which I know he won't, I'm making it public. And he said, okay, he's not no problem, bro. Because, 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 because Fred's church has not promoted it. Only, only Craig has promoted it. Right. But I told him, I said, out of, out of fairness to the body of Christ, we need to let people know. I said, man, I've, I've, I've had a couple of people already tell me, had they not have seen my video, they were getting ready to buy tickets to go to California in February. I said, man, nobody want to be buying no tickets, man, at the, at the last minute. So people trying to get a, get a cheaper cheaper rate. So they trying to order their tickets as soon as they can, and they have to pay last minute. I said, so bro, this is this. I said, this is this is timing of the essence right now. Time is of the essence, bro. We don't have time to be wasting, especially on no, on no, on no fraud that's trying to manipulate people anyway. So, so I, I, I'm telling that to you. And like I've been telling other people privately who's who's uh, who's been concerned and who's asked about it, uh, that it's not happening. That it's not, it's not happening at all. It's done. And that was one of the that was one of the missions and one of the goals and objectives that I wanted to have. I said because because since Craig does not listen to anybody, does not listen to reason, he listens to that bank account. So you hit that fool where it hurts. You hit him in his pockets, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, I, I tell people in the video that you know, that I made, uh, you know, about about him too. Now I said people gonna think I'm Bobby Brown with him because every little step he take, I'm gonna be there. Everywhere he goes, I'm putting up. I'm putting up that email. Everywhere. I don't give a crap where he goes. I'm putting it up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna blacklist him. Well, if like you said, if even ten percent of what was said is true, he has it coming. Thank you, thank you, and 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 and, and I'm like I'm like anybody tell I'm lying, show where I'm lying because I've already talked to the people. I've got the recordings. Why is it that uh, why is it that Fred Price can sit down and have a conversation with you, but she can't? Exactly, because he's a coward. If it's, a, if it's just a disagreement and just a difference of opinions, why can't you two sit down and have a conversation? Exactly. Like you've given them every chance, like I. Uh, I'm with you, bro. Like, I agree. Like, but he don't. Like, if you're not part of his little group, he don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know how never got involved with him. Maybe, uh, I'm sure Pastor, you know, he, he probably was kind of, you know, looked up to him because he had, I know he knows Fred Price has a following, so that's probably why. Right. Uh, but, um, uh, yeah, uh, why? I, that, that, that's the other thing. I'm like, well, if Fred Price could sit down and have a difference of opinions with his man, but sit down and have a, Christian conversation, and you know, why can't why can't our pastor do it? Right. So now, and, and real quick, that 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 Paris that Paris event, um, what was that? Was that like a was that a, a gay ba a gala? Or what is that about? What was that for? A fashion event? He's there for fashion week. Okay. He goes every year. Okay. He goes every year for fashion week. Oh, and he don't go with his wife either. I don't see any pictures of his wife there. Maybe mm -hmm. she's there. He didn't post any of the pictures there with her. He's out there posting pictures with all these, with these gay dudes and going to uh, runway fashion shows and stuff with all these homos, but doesn't doesn't put anything with his wife. Right, and that that's what that that's what that that's what that 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 picture's like at Fashion Week with some 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 gay looking dude. Yep. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. Yeah, yeah that was a uh, that was in at Fashion Week. Mm-hmm. That's what I figured. So hey man, let's do this man. Let's 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 uh let's table this conversation man uh uh for later. Um um I, I mean I hope and pray man that um uh, um that you know what has been said man what we discussed man has helped you as well you know because I know it's been a lot 
before you get off your chest of so many years, but bro, you know, you're not by yourself. I'll just let you know that you're definitely not by yourself, man. Um, God has a remnant, and uh, he's slowly peeling the onion, he's slowly pulling the curtain back, he's slowly taking the covers off of this thing, man. And so, um, you know, let's let's be vigilant, let's be, you know, mindful what, what this is, this is a spiritual battle. Um, protect your wife and your children, man, for any, you know, spiritual attacks, especially in the mind. Uh, because you're going to have those moments, man, where you may, you may doubt that you're doing the right thing. Trust me, you're doing the right thing because you're doing it now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine, man. Like I said, I know what I'm dealing with ain't even on the same level as some of these other people. Right. It's, uh, it still bothers me, and it's still, like, I've spent five years here serving, like, we were in it. So, to see it all just, the curtain's full. Like I said, it's like a band-aid getting raw, ripped off. Man. Yeah, so, yeah. teaching your kids anyway so anything that they see going on in the church bro then god holds you responsible to make that thing you know clear you know yeah, so yeah if, if, if your questions can't be answered then you need to go somewhere where you can because obviously they don't know what they're talking about and when you ask questions and you get told bro you ain't got part eight yet yeah okay like what is that right you, you're selling the gospel now like like, I understand, like, you, you know, whatever. Like, you said, uh, I had to pay for this. But you're not paying to make these DVDs anymore. Come on, man. When was the last time you worked a job? Right. This, these DVDs, the cameras you're using, I know they just got brand new cameras about a year ago. Right. Uh, all the equipment uh, in that AV room, all the stuff you're doing to make these DVDs, the church paid for. Yep. The church, look, the church, the church helped build that, matter of fact, the church built those, that building basically for nothing. I was there building it. <laughs> Shit. Free. Free so cheap how, labor. How are you, uh, how is it okay for you to then withhold that information that they helped pay for? Now you're going to withhold it until you until they pay you more? Yep. That's a pet move. I told you. Like, I don't know how it took me so long to, to see it. Like, I really don't. Like, I don't know how I didn't see it. Yeah. I mean, that's what deception does, man. Until God opens your eyes, you won't see it. Well, I mean, understand this. Number one, uh, there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ. So, you know, having regrets and saying, man, I wish this is, that's one thing. But kicking yourself, beating yourself up over it, that's nothing. That's, that's, what, that's Satan. Okay? Uh, and we all sin. And we all miss it. 
and that's why grace and God's and God's mercy are so are so important because it, with that without it, bro, we would go crazy. So yep. you now one thing is if you was just still staying there and you didn't come out after knowing what you know, then yeah, you are a fool. But once you realize that you've been you've been fooled. You don't want to be fooled anymore, and you leave. That's God's grace, and He's giving you the ability to do that. So those are the differences, man. You don't, you don't, don't let the enemy try to trip you up and have you thinking, oh, you know, look what you did. You're a sorry, Father. No, no. Based on the information that I had at the time, and know what I know what I knew then, that's the decision that I made. Now that my eyes have been opened, yeah, this is what Titus talks about. He said, man, for we too were once foolish. So we can't look down at people, man. That that, oh man, I can't see how they, that's the only by the grace of God. You're not following to that. You know what I'm saying? So, Paul said, man, look, for we too were once foolish, deceived, being deceived. I mean, enslaved by various lusts. So, and he's good at it. He's very good. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's why he's mad, bro. He don't, he don't want, he, he, he knows that I'm his worst nightmare. He knows that I am. I mean, I've, I've, I've had people tell me, man, nobody's gotten this far with exposing him as I have. And I'm not saying it to be braggadocious. I'm, I'm saying it because it's fact. That's yeah, what I'm man, saying. That's what I'm I'm human, man. I've heard this dude talk about how he's got he's got killers in the church, people who kill people over there. Uh, he's got he talks about all the guns he's got. Uh, mm -hmm. This all. Uh, you just never know. Man. Yeah, I, and, and, and you know what? I'm not even worried about it, dog. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I carry too. And, and, and if you want, and, and, and if, if you, yeah, yeah. And if you want, if you want blood, you gotta bring it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it just is what it is. I'm not, bro. I, 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 I'm from, I'm from Detroit, bro. So I don't, I don't, dude. Do. I feel, no, I, I'm, I'm just saying, I don't think that puts that out there. Like, oh yeah. That puts out a, a spirit of fear in itself. Right. And I'm like, bro, I'm the wrong one. I'm the wrong one. You, you, you try to put fear in, in, in my heart, but that just pisses me off even more. And, you know, and I'm like, bro, you come over here, I'm going to let you down. It's just straight up. It's just straight like that. I'm not even going to ask no questions, dog. And, it, and first of all, this is Texas. So do you honestly think, <laughs> do you honestly think you're going to roll over? Man, please. Wow, it's the same thing. Uh, it's the same thing. Yeah, I feel yeah. the same way. Yeah, so I don't, I don't, I don't, man, I don't, and, 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 and like you said, ain't nothing but the enemy trying to instill fear. I, I, I got that. So I'm, I, I watch and pray, but what I am, what I'm not is a punk. Yeah, you, 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 you ain't about to shut my mouth, bro. And it, and it, look, and if I die, I die. But I know what I, I know what I died for. I know what I'm dying for. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't walking around trying to be no martyr. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to walk around trying to have my life taken. But if you try to take it, I'm gonna take yours. Somebody going. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm not going out without a fight. This is all of this to it because there's too many lives are at stake. Too many people, man, are, are being hurt. Literally being hurt, bro. And 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 and, and don't know what, who to turn to and what to look at, man, for truth. When a place that they're probably going for truth is not giving it. So. My mission is clear, bro. I want him. I want him gone. I want him out of commission, spiritually speaking. Period. That I made that clear to any and everybody. This cat is dangerous. He is a he, he's a toxic individual whose only goal whose only goal is to destroy the people for profit. That's it. And I'm I want him out, bro. I want him out. So that conference that he had, or they did, he planned on having in California, that's shut down. That's a, that's done. That's done. He ain't, go 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 get a job. Go get a regular job like everybody else do, bro. Let's let you see how it feels to work. You know what I'm saying? You done made your millions, you know, off of the backs of people's ignorance, and now people are waking up by God's grace. Now we about to show you what time it is. And you hit that dude where it hurts. You hit him in his pocket. You put up the post. You put up you put up information. You, you, you spread the truth, man, about this clown as much as you can. And and for for people that want their eyes to be open to God, open their eyes, they'll be open. I mean, it, it just, it just it's as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Because if God opened their eyes, they won't be open. So our responsibility is to, put, is to present the truth, put it out there, and pray that God, you know, uh, does his work. And that's and that's pretty much where it is, bro. So, um, keep going, stay strong. I appreciate everything you're doing. Just, uh, you know, show us that are you know coming out of it. You know, be patient with us. Absolutely, no doubt, no doubt, man. I mean, let me know anything else I can do to help you, bro. I mean, like I can say, you know, share the videos and watch them as much as you can, man, man, and uh, and stay in that word, brother. Stay hungry. Everything I share with you is out there in the public, so it's not my information. Right. Like, except that Amazon video clip. Go watch it. Like. It's out there in public. I didn't put it out there. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna check that joint out. I'm gonna check that joint out. But, but no, man, stay, stay hungry, bro. Stay yeah. hungry. Do not let up. Do not give up. Your family, your family depends on it, bro. They need it. I will do. And remember when you're watching. Watch what. Remember what dates I was filmed. That was after part ten and everything, where Bryce was front row. Okay. What does that send to the kids? Truth behind. You talking about truth behind hip hop part ten, right? Yep. Okay. I'm. Yep. I'm, I'm gonna compare that joint. Sure I am.
Hello. Go watch the go watch part ten. You'll see Bryce. He's sitting right in the front row. Most, and then shortly after that, this happened. So, okay. Yeah, it's right around the same time. Yeah, I'm going to take that joint out, bro. Well, I appreciate your time, Sagan. Oh, man, take care. Yeah. All right, later.